Brian Christopher Lawler tonight. Family, friends, and fans came together today for the wrestler's funeral service in Cordova. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Rudy Williams. The TBI says Lawler was found hanging in a Hardeman County jail cell before he died. CW 30's Mary Jo Ola was there for the emotional funeral. The sound that marks the start of a wrestling match instead served as a somber honor for Brian Christopher Lawler Friday. Lawler died Sunday. He was 46 years old. Well, this has got to be one of the toughest days of my life. And if I've heard it once, I've heard it a thousand times. They say the toughest thing for anybody to do is have to bury a child. And that's what we're going through today. Long lines of people made their way to Cordova's Hope Church to pay their respects. His dad, wrestling legend Jerry the King Lawler, was there to greet them. My fiance Lauren and I are standing next to the casket and I keep looking down, almost expecting Brian to just sit up and start laughing. Um, it's just tough. It was an emotional funeral as people remembered Brian's larger than life, fun personality on and off camera. Friends say he had a big heart. I mean, he was Grandmaster Sexay. People loved him. The kids loved him. And he loved the fans and he loved the kids. You're talking about somebody nuts, somebody crazy. He would do anything to make you laugh. Behind the scenes, he loved the business. He loved Memphis. He loved his Steelers. And he was, he was good to the boys behind the scenes. And he was quick to help you. There were signs of Lawler's personality in the Pittsburgh Steelers and wrestling memorabilia displayed. <laughs> His casket was even brought out to his wrestling entrance song. Something his brother Kevin said Brian would have loved. He was an unforgettable character and uh, he, he never met a stranger and everybody that met Brian loved him. So um, that's the way I wanted to be remembered. In Cordova, Mary Joola, CW30 News.